Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Capital City News. I'm your host, Yusuf Mong. We're here on Washington Square, just got finished from an event talking about our new e-bike incentive program. More on that later, including in this episode, we've got a hockey history minute, but first, our look backs. On this week's interview, we're talking to Catherine Wiffles with Sustainability with more details about our e-bike incentive program. I'm Catherine Wiffles. I'm the Air Quality Program Manager uh, in the Sustainability Department, and we're here to launch our new e-bike uh, rebate program. Yeah, so the e-bike program uh, will distribute vouchers to uh, residents of Salt Lake City to help them purchase an e-bike. The vouchers will range anywhere between $300 and $1,300, and it will depend on your income level and the bike type that you will be selecting. So the applications will be open for one week. Uh, it is not first come, first serve, so please take your time, do your research uh, before you apply. And we will be selecting applicants uh, using a lottery system. Um, and you will be notified by July 31st if you've been selected. And we'll also be offering bike uh, safety and riding classes in partnership with uh, Bike Utah. They'll start in August uh, 15th and they'll run through October. So the bike shops that we're partnering with, uh, Bingham Cyclery, Contender, uh, Rad Power Bikes, Trek, and Magnum. This is a huge win for us. It really, if we can eliminate or at least reduce the number of short trips that Salt Lakers make, you know, whether it's you're just going to the store nearby or, or you know, taking your kid to daycare that's nearby, like just those short trips that maybe you don't need a car to do those, right? So you're eliminating those emissions from our airshed uh, by using an e-bike instead. Do you guys even remember what it feels like to feel cold? I don't. On this History Minute, we're taking a look at the history of hockey here in Salt Lake City and the Salt Lake Golden Eagles. The Salt Lake Golden Eagles were a minor league professional hockey team that played in Salt Lake City from 1969 to 1994 and at the end were owned by Larry H. Miller. They played their home games at the Old Salt Palace until the construction of the new Delta Center right alongside the Utah Jazz. They were a popular team and during some years were the only professional sport that Utahns could see played during the winter. During their time in the International Hockey League, they won the Turner Cup two years in a row, which was that league's equivalent of the Stanley Cup. 
Eventually, Larry H. Miller decided he was losing too much money on the team and, at the height of ice hockey's popularity in Utah, he sold them to Detroit for $5 million and they became the Vipers. The Salt Lake Golden Eagles played their last game in Salt Lake in April of 1994 to a sold-out crowd at the Delta Center, though that season they would finish with the worst record in the IHL. For 25 years, the Salt Lake Golden Eagles provided all the hockey excitement that Utah could handle. Today, that mantle is carried on by the Utah Grizzlies, who play in the ECHL, and they've been in Utah in one form or another since 1995. That's it for another episode of Capital City News. This is your best way to stay informed and engage with Salt Lake City government. You can do that by following us on social media at SLCGov, tuning into Channel 17, or subscribing to us on YouTube. Remember, come back here, Washington Square, 3 a.m. July 24th. You heard me right, 3 a.m. We're gonna be live streaming a Special Olympics announcement all the way from Paris, France. So make sure you come by in your best red, white, and blue, coffee in hand, go USA.